Namaste and welcome to Tune In Frequency. Today I will read the tarot and the sound bowl as every week. Um, as you can tell maybe by <laughs> my kiss of the sun that I came back from my class trip from Italy and um, please bear with me because my throat hurts. I got sick a little. Um, so <laughs> don't mind me if I uh, continue to have like a zip of water in between so let's get started oh yeah one thing before I want to start I want to say something because today I will work with an additional um, deck this is called the I hope you can see it it's the Cymbalon um, deck and I'm not going to show you the cards yet but you can expect more astrology showing up, more um, knowledge about like planets and um, signs. And um, yeah, we'll definitely just add that as a little extra for this week. Enjoy. So as usual, before we start, just take a deep breath in and breathe out. All right, so this feels exactly how my week started. Um, today is Tuesday, um, so we're already a little bit in the this week. But for me, this week started with a bang and not necessarily like a positive one. Um, it felt like an energetic hammer that just like surprised me a little bit. And right now this felt like all this energy like flooding in and you trying to work really hard to like keep it up keep it going but you can feel like this tension and the second that you let go it just like whew, just went away and it went like up the energy and before it was like more like a i really see like this big picture of like a hammer like coming down and then you're like trying to like um work the mill basically and then the moment that you stop fighting it it's just like whew, lift it off like birds flying Okay, by the letting go part and you um, kind of picking up at it again and this time like including the ease and the joy, everything works so much smoother and you can make it easier on yourself basically. Um, again, coming from a lot of self-love and I would say also receiving support, receiving help. You don't have to do it all by yourself. Um, I did talk about like collaborations a lot last week, 
So, um, yeah, just try to delegate this week and uh, see where you can ease work up uh, on yourself. Okay, the third one, I I thought I would like ring it and there was like almost like a stop and then like a shh and then I did like really softly and so I would definitely say that there is um, spirit and spirit guides and angels um, coming on a, a, in in a really like high frequency but also like um in whispering tones so if you can like the moment when i said like the 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 moment when you i'm so sorry my, my nose is a little runny let me stop for a second okay so when you make it so hard on yourself in the mo in the beginning and with this like heavy energy there is also like a lot of loud energy and i said something about like letting it go uh, letting it all go and it also means like kind of being in your own bubble a little bit but from this space i want you to take time to listen listen closely to the whispers of a spirit guides uh, listen closely to the whispers of angels um take time to meditate take time to sit in stillness and just observe and let it come to you whatever it is um the message that is coming in for you will be for you specifically sorry i am sick at home at the moment but i didn't want to keep myself from um giving you this opportunity of having the, um, the reading and we get logic uh, in reverse right away um, let me just get back to the music right. Oop, uh, and the next one is open to life I feel like we haven't had that a card in a while and it's also in reverse, like a lot of blocks coming in. But this explains the, the heart energy or the, the heavy energy that I was talking about um, a lot. So, yeah. And also we, we feel like there's um, a lot of contrast in like each of the messages like one being logic and the other one being open to life which is like way more heart based okay so way more cards coming in here we got calling also in reverse and integration in reverse and confidence is the only card that didn't come up in reverse so i'm going to show you all the cards i'm sorry <laughs> me i feel a little clumsy today but that's all right all right so we got logic number 33 and which i find is very funny like when open life is lying next to it it looks like it's three three four three so it's like it's building on each other we have another another angel number 11 with calling interesting integration with a 48 and the last one confidence 13 so okay logic is necessary yes but it's also um it's also blocked here and with 
the logic card it's the number 33 so three is expression and number six like three and three you make equal six six um to me is always related to sexual energy as well so if you use the sexual energy the the way that you express yourself um well and maybe also like more logic based you can put like everything that is coming in into its uh place it, it for me it feels like a little bit like sorting out um i think i've i've said this sentence before like sorting out like putting things in um the place where it belongs so it might also refer to your home like organize yourself um and look at that the places that you have in your home are um organized in a very logical way um that work for you yeah your whole space and i'm talking here about your home but also like your extended home like your family your friends everything everything should be um again in alignment with you but does it serve you so think about that take the time to think about that be open to life yeah take the opportunities that come to you and i feel like in this like little logic card there is this tiny square that is like more colorful the others are very green based and blue bluish and this seems to have all the colors that are present in this little square in our logic card so this is the key this is the center um when you're open to life and then um let it come in let it come through first and i feel like this is like a kind of a backwards reading because um i'm starting with all the blocks basically coming up to like what will unblock all these walls basically so your calling is waiting for you um while you think about um if your surrounding actually serves you um while being open to life and not holding on too much to those things in your life that don't serve you um you will follow your calling more and with this calling like when i look at these like um little i don't know feels like these are like the spirit guides um this is kind of the part of like listening to this frequency and letting it come in <clears throat> whatever calls you integrate that into your life and um, when I talk about the integration card, I always see like this, the beard of the, the key here. Um, so this like end that is like kind of unlocking and lock unlocking everything into place. And it's like a chain reaction. So see how what is calling you and how you can like integrate that part more into your life and this is going in both direction it all starts with confidence but also when you do these things this will um you will gain confidence with it 